Yo, what's going on, guys? We are back. Boys, the hype is real. Before we jump into everything, man, like 1,000 new people yesterday. Hello, new people. 1,000 new subs, man. Another huge day on the channel, boys. The last two days have been like the best two days on this MLB channel, like since I've created this channel, man. So thank you guys so much for all the support, man. It's so hype seeing all the comments, all the likes. Basically, everyone just loving the game and having so much fun, man. I was so excited about the potential of this year and Xbox and a larger community and everyone just just playing the game man it's been such a blast boys greatly do appreciate everyone man if you've been watching the videos and thinking about hitting the sub button you haven't done it yet man hit the sub button how about this boys? how about this i, I want to see what we can do i'm going to challenge you guys if we can get a thousand likes on this video all right with all these new people and all these views let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video comment down below drop a like on the video make sure you're subbed and I will find someone in the comments to give away, let's say, uh, we'll give away 150,000 stuff. We'll give away 150,000 stubs. 1,000 likes. Comment down below. Hit the sub button. And we will give away 150,000 subs to someone in the comments section, boys. I want to show thanks and appreciation to all the excitement here on the channel, boys. A little giveaway. Sound good? I think it's good. I think it's good. All right, boys. What are we going to talk about today, man? We're going to go in on some more tips. You guys want to see this team real quick, boys? It's so good. We got Ricky to a parallel three. I know my uh, screen's kind of covering a little bit right there, but parallel three for Ricky Henderson, bro. Look at Cody. Look at Cody Bellinger with the parallel three four on him i almost got him to super fractured it's still gonna take a little bit of time but i was the 62nd person let me let me move this let, let me i can never figure out where i want my cam the 62nd person to create the level four cody bellinger man the parallels have been so much fun i basically got my whole outfield to like three and four i got chipper to three i got big poppy to three bro it's just been so much fun upgrading these parallels but that's not what we're going to talk about today you see him here still grinding still doing some stuff but i figured all this out and it's really cool and there's some big changes this year to the creative player and yes yes boys he will be the greatest card in the game once you get them all boosted up once you get them all you know upgraded and everything i'm gonna go over all that stuff today methods how to do it the best ways to do it the best way to get free gear and all that stuff boys so appreciate you if you haven't dropped the uh the like yet do it now giveaway cool information just having fun the vibes boys <laughs> let me show you so first thing first how do you even create your guy where is all that stuff it's up here if you're right here on the manage squads, right? Manage, customize, standing, that kind of stuff, or home, play, collect, you know, this right here. All you can do is hit up, up. And then you see how I'm like highlighted now on my avatar right next to ScoMo. You can see I'm highlighted on Diamond Dynasty now. And then up above it to the left-hand corner, corner where the uh, record is, you're gonna select that. And that's gonna bring you in to your created player loadout, okay? So. You have a few different things. First thing that you want to do is go into your appearance here. You can change his name, you know, what you want his number to be and all that kind of stuff. You can put everything right here. Yes, his audio name is is, is Boomer. Okay, okay, that's, that's for you guys. You want to uh, change his physical appearance. You want to change his equipment. You can change all that stuff here. This is not equipping your equipment. This is changing the way that the equipment looks on your body very a lot of customizations here and once again i'm covering everything with my camera so i guess we're just gonna put it up for right here so once again you can change your appearance your name and your equipment the way the equipment looks i will show you how to actually equip the equipment here soon motions and sounds very 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 important one of the big important things to your creative player that makes him so op one of the things that i love about this game is every player feels different animations are a huge factor with timing how things work how you see it how it all matches up so you can create any batting stance any swing that you want for your creative player plus then you have hundreds if not thousands of animations to choose from from generic players current players and former players i really really like this chipper jones 2008 
but like I said, if there is a certain player that you are hitting with really, really well, or a card that you dominate with, try putting your creative player's hitting stance, his batting stance, as the same player. Like, if you hit really good with Will Smith, or Cody Bellinger or something like that, right? You can go Cody current players and then just find Cody Bellinger. And then you can put your swing to look like Cody Bellinger if that's what you wanted to do. I wanted my creative guy to be a switch hitter. One of the switch hitters that I hit really, really good with. Plus, I have Chipper on my uh, Jones on my roster right now. So I wanted the Chipper Jones batting stance. I've been hitting really, really good with it. You can adjust some other things that you want with there. But... I got this pretty much exactly default for the Chipper Jones 2008. You can make a few subtle adjustments if you want to your swing, and that's just going to help you out with your timing and that kind of stuff, just to find the perfect sweet spot for your timing. Not my timing, your timing. Yes, you watching the video, your timing. So the next thing here, how this actually works. There's different archetypes for your player, and one of the huge improvements this year to the creative player is you're only creating one guy. You're not creating guys for different positions. In the years past, you would have to create multiple guys. You'd have to get creative. Catcher, second baseman, shortstop, third baseman. Every position had a different guy that you can create. Not this year. This year, it is based all around your archetypes, okay? So you have a main archetype, which is this top one. And then you have sub archetypes which are these bottom two right here, okay? If you are on any of these archetypes right here, and you can see it right down there at the bottom where it says square to view program, that will actually bring you into your objectives and your missions for your player, okay? You have perks, you have silver, gold, diamond perks, and on bronze per perks obviously also. So bronze, silver, gold, and diamond perks. Then you also then have Bronze, silver, gold, and diamond archetypes. Archetype is going to basically decipher what type of build your player is and also what position your player will play. Now, the perks will boost that archetype. The equipment will boost that archetype. But the archetype itself is really, really, really going to determine what that player is, what position what style of player it is. So I am on the second tier, meaning that I finished the bronze tier and now I'm on the silver tier, okay? You can grind these guys either with Road to the Show or Diamond Dynasty, which is really, really cool because before your guy was separated from Road to the Show, now it's like the same guy. So now you can actually earn and boost your guy from Road to the Show. If you go into Road to the Show, like you can, you can get stolen bases to get, you know, five XP for your guy. You can get stolen bases, hits, more stolen bases, and some of the things are repeatable and some of them are not. So you can see like one, two, three, four, five. Those are not repeatable. But then six stolen bases, you get three of his tokens every time you get three, uh, six stolen bases. You get three of his tokens every time you get 15 hits. And you get two of his tokens every time you get 30 plate appearances. And what I mean by his tokens, once again, going up here, you need five tokens for this choice pack, 10 tokens for this. 20 tokens for the stubs, 30 tokens for the choice pack, and you're going to need 100 tokens to complete the gold task. Once you complete the silver task, you get the gold archetype, and then you go to the gold task, which will give you the diamond archetype, okay? So once again, you're going through the chain. When I beat the bronze ones, the missions just reset here. So like these right here that were not repeatable in Diamond Dynasty, once again, six innings in Diamond Dynasty, repeatable. Four hits in Diamond Dynasty, repeatable. Stolen bases in Diamond Dynasty, repeatable. These were not repeatable, but they did reset when I went from bronze to silver. I got new objectives to do here, okay? So this is where you get your missions. This is how you grind your guy. And then this is basically your path, okay? You're going to get more perks, more equipment, more stubs. And at the end, you get your new archetype. So, once again, let's go back here to the archetype. I started off with a bronze guy, and you could see I was like spark plug, which puts me at like second base, right? But now since I got these silver ones that I unlocked for completing that first round, I can move him to left field, and he will go from a 59 to a 63. I can move him to center field, where he stays like the 59 right now. 
or I can move him to shortstop, which he's still staying at 59 based on the other abilities, I guess you can say. I think my camera was covering that once again. 59 overall, or I can be 63 overall with left field. Center field, 59 overall. I, I could never figure out where I want to put my camera. There's stuff all over the screen. So you can see now I have the silver archetype. And based on how your archetype and what you do, all your stats and everything change, right? So this is the slick spark plug once again. And when you go into the slick spark plug, you can see it's going to give me boost to contact left and right vision, but uh, and uh, improve my fielding and reaction. But then these sub archetypes, you know, these little abilities that you add actually is like a plus or minus. These are a give or take. So I added a little more power to him, which gave me six power to right and left, but did lose contact for right and left and fielding. But then I added more power here and contact and you could adjust all of this right like i got some of these speed guys here which would adjust my speed which would adjust the power and you can basically customize this to exactly what you want get this guy to fit exactly into the spot that you need him to fill the best part about these creative players and once again why i feel like it's the best card in the game is you can mold it to whatever you need to fill the spot of your team okay if you need speed if you need a fielding if you need power if you need contact if you need a second baseman if you need a left fielder if you need a catcher you can make this guy whatever you want based on all his like i guess abilities and equipment and his archetype okay so archetype abilities you can mix match them however you want you can get power ones you can get speed ones you can get contact ones you can get pitching ones for your pitchers there's all kinds of different ones and then as you do these objectives once again you get the perks which i was calling abilities right the perks are the abilities you can get silver perks bronze perks silver perks bronze perk and then a new archetype here once again this is going to give you the dewey or the dart gold archetype item focus on contact fielding and power or gold archetype focus on contact fielding and speed so when I go to gold, I can be like, do I want my guy to be contact and speed or contact and power? Probably going to go contact and power. But even if you choose one right now, say you get a new card and you're like, oh, I want this new card to go to left field. I want to move my guy to second base. All you got to do is change the archetype. You don't have to create a new guy anymore. Super dope. Now, I know what you're saying. This guy is only a 59 overall. There's no way you're using this guy, Scom. He's not a 59, really. He's really not. You want to see? So if you hit square on here, you can see his attributes right now. 56 contact to left and right. 53 power left and right. But above that, the plus 22 on contact, plus 23 on power, plus 10 on vision. That's all my gear. That's all my gear boosting up everything so he's actually 76 power you know 78 contact so he's actually like high 70s on all his hitting abilities and that's because of his equipment and you can get some very very op equipment for free or very 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 cheap if you're trying to play no money spent or budget and that kind of stuff i would be careful okay don't need gold equipment and diamond equipment unless you get it given to you but you can look once again like here i had upgraded gold glasses right which is going to give me a little bit more fielding so i had these silver ones which is only plus one fielding and now i can go plus two fielding on these gold ones compression sleeve right you can equip one of these give you plus three arm i can go to my ritual my ritual i do have a diamond ritual on him and uh, i'm covering all the stats once again plus six power plus six contact for equipping this el nino there's different rituals that give you different boost all the stuff boost your guy okay and all i'm doing is going through these dots so i got the eyewear i got the sleeve i got my ritual wrist guard i got gold giving me uh more discipline and durability i got my batting gloves which is giving me plus four contact plus five power plus three vision bat grip i got the jackie robinson diamond back grip which is about the best back grip that you can get in the game this is free from conquest also i'll show you that here in a second plus four power plus four contact you get diamond bats you know there's all kinds of bat skins that you can get plus eight power and contact that i have with this jackie robinson bat then you have the socks the jackie robinson socks that give you plus seven speed and plus eight stealing so all this equipment 
adds in to you boosting your guy. So if you can get all this, like, let's just say you want all the diamond equipment or get all this gold equipment and boost it up and you can boost your guy 30 or 40 power. You don't have to worry about getting your guy to 99 power if you're going to have a 30 boost. You only have to get him to 70 power so you can build your guy maybe more speed, more fielding, little, you know, little more variety to the guy. But then you add all the equipment and that's where it makes it the best card in the game. Very easy. Cleats. Free cleats again, giving you 14 speed, not four, 14 speed, eight stealing from these Jackie Robinson Griffey cleats. Super dope. Shin guards. I got the gold one on there. Leg guard. We got silver. Don't really need that. Fielding glove. Got 10 plus on fielding from my glove. Elbow strap. You know, you can change those there too. Chest protector and your catcher's mask. All is going to give you boost. Once again, all that equipment added on is boosting my guy 23 power 22 contact 10 vision 10 discipline 11 clutch 12 durability 12 field 7 arm 9 acceleration 21 speed boosted my guy's only a 40 speed but i'm rocking with him to be 61 so that means even if i get him to like 60 or 70 he's gonna be like 90 speed once I get all the good gear and everything on top of them, boys, that's why he's the best car in the game. Most versatile, most OP, can put any swing you want on him, any animations that you want on him, timing to match up exactly with the way that you want. These cards have always been so good. Always so good. All right, boys. So from that, what's the best way to grind this? How do you get all that kind of stuff? Conquest, boys. Conquest. Conquest, you can get all that stuff you want from your player, and you can get all this gear also. There is so much stuff that is in these Conquest maps, boys. The 42 challenge, you can get a lot of Jackie Robinson stuff right here, and other Jackie Robinson inspire and awards. You can get bat skin, bat grip, bat itself, gloves, all that Jackie Robinson stuff. You can get all from those conquests and you can put your guy in the conquest these are very very easy you can just go through steal some fans right away knock all these things out i think if you click into this and then hit your view goals yes all this stuff is gonna give you all of that equipment okay so if you hit square in the jackie robinson one it'll give you all your goals and then you can work on this conquest map with your creative player guy in there getting a bats getting hits and everything easy computer games playing on you know all-star or veteran or even rookie if you dominate and everything like that you get the stats very 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 easy you're upgrading your guy and getting him gear and upgrading all your other parallels because this is a great way to grind you can unlock free stuff get xp for your guys upgrade your creative guy and everything so conquest maps Set it up, put your creative guy at the top of the order, you know, number one or number two spot, and get as many at bats as possible to help you upgrade all that th stuff extremely fast. The other thing that you can do, and I'm still been trying to figure this out a little bit, right? There's still two things that I'm trying to figure out. You can go to perks here in the market. These things are extremely rare. You can find diamond perks, okay? You can find diamond perks. You can put buy orders in for them. You can stay on top of this market. If you see one for buy now, just buy it. If it fits your guy, some of these things have so many buy orders in for them. Like it's been absolutely nuts trying to get these. As you can see, there's literally none up on the market right now. The only thing up on the market is buy orders from these things. Like if I just go in on this one card right here, this is power five, which is going to give me nine power left and right. There's five people wanting these for 10,000 stubs. These could be really, really, really good for your guy also, but these are really hard to find. So if you know a better way to get a hold of these, let me know down in the comments. I think you'll earn these later on in Road to the Show if you grind Road to the Show, but you can see that these things are very, very rare. The diamonds are extremely hard to get if you uh, wanna boost up your guy a little bit faster. If you scroll to page four, the gold ones are available and you can get, you know, like plus nine speed here. You can get, there's some fielding ones. There's some good power ones. 
just be very very careful about which one you're buying if you want you know power and no fielding so like let me show you so like this one is plus four power but takes away three fielding right some take away contact like this is plus seven power but takes away contact I'd probably stay away from the ones that take away contact unless your fielding's like really, really, really low. But the plus four power with only minus three fielding seems really, really good. So you can go with like power seven and buy that for like 4,900 stubs to kind of help you out there. That's one of the things I'm still trying to figure out where we get these diamond ones from. But this market, you can buy some cheap stuff there. Uh, cheap earth stuff, I should say, uh, to kind of give you an early boost. Now, the other thing that I'm still trying to figure out, which would make this card absolutely ridiculous, and this is the last thing that I want to talk about here. I think it's going to happen once we get into diamond, right? I don't think we can do it at bronze, silver, or gold. But if you go into the players right here, like click on the player, he does have a parallel path still to him, okay? He's not getting any parallel XP right now because I don't think he's getting that until he's diamond i could be completely wrong and this could just maybe not work on the guy but if he gets to an 89 overall diamond you add plus five to all attributes with him getting parallel to level five and then you add all the equipment hands down best card in the game this could be the best card of the game highly recommend that you grind this card now get everything going get this guy set up like i said it is a huge improvement to last year because you only have to complete the one guy you only have to create one guy that can use all over the field and change the archetype and all that kind of stuff so i think this is going to be a huge factor for your team a huge improvement to your team a huge upgrade for your team and a must need for your team so hopefully all this kind of stuff helps you out boys grind con conquest conquest is a great way conquest is pretty much how we upgraded a lot of these guys. So if you want to get the parallels up, Conquest. You want to work on your guy, Conquest. I'll show you how to do the missions. I'll show you how to get the objectives, where to get all that equipment and everything from. Conquest, 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 boy. Greatly do appreciate everyone, man. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully the grind and everything is going. I'm thinking maybe gameplay tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will support that as much as these tips and information videos. All these new people, all this excitement. Boys, those notifications better be on. We're going to have some fun, okay? Packs and probably gameplay tomorrow, okay? Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah.